Hey guys, Indigo Priestess here. Hope everybody's doing well, feeling blessed and living their best life. Uh, if you don't know who I am, I'm a spellcaster, I'm a life coach. I uh, teach people how to connect with their higher self, how to uh, invoke um, ancient gods, aka demons, and basically just manifest things in their life. And how to walk through problems, because problems, guys, is the key to success and comfortableness and, and being awkward and, and not being in your comfort zone is it basically means that you are reaching and moving towards your dream so be uncomfortable now because it only means that comfort lies ahead in your future walk through that door of fear so i just wanted to make this video on person king person and i know I've, i think i've made a previous video on him but you know what you can never have too much information when it comes to these entities so if you are new to connecting with the ancient gods, then this is the type of video that you would want to watch. So, yeah, I just wanted to mention a few things that he's good at. I wrote down my notes because these are a few things that I'm pretty sure I left out on the previous videos. So, Passant helps with wealth. Most of them do. He helps with helping you find out hidden information as well as lost treasures so if there's inheritance in the family and you guys are trying to trace it person can definitely help you with that inner wisdom and knowledge on where to find that information and how to find those lost treasures that belongs to you okay so he helps a lot with insights on tarot readings as well as if you need more guidance on invocations he can assist you with that Okay, that was, I think, I'm pretty sure that was the things that I did not mention on the other video as well. So, as I already mentioned, lost treasures as well as if you're someone who loves arts, the arts, you can definitely assist you there as well. Music, art, doesn't matter what it is, creativity, you can assist you there as well. So, his number is number three, okay? And his incantation, so if you want to invoke him, his incantation is Anna Jekora Onka Person. Anna Jekora Onka Person. I will have it in the description box below. Oh, almost coughed there. The candles that you want to also put down on his altar is red, blue, and yellow. Also, fertile soil loves fertile soil as an offering okay you place your fertile soil as the as well there you can also put your seeds in that if you'd like okay because it also represents abundant growth okay moving from one phase in your life to the next phase in your life and it is appreciated by the entities okay the other thing that you can also place as an offering is raw meat you can clean wrap the raw meat okay mm. and red wine red wine and then what he enjoys as well when it comes to invoking him and during invocation and his incantation is trumpet sounds so if you have a trumpet and you invoke him you can blow the trumpet and the horns in between and just get into that that position into that frequency and that energy and then continue invoking him with the incantation and when you're ready blow that trumpet blow that blow that horn and keep going just keep going release yourself release yourself from the brain connect to your awareness and allow the awareness to come through guys that's it for now bye don't forget to like and subscribe eh